Okay, now let's move on to adding thirds. Okay, so if I had 2 root 3 plus 3 root 3, and I wanted to add them together, okay? Now, root 3, I don't know the value of root 3, okay? Root 3 is just an x for us. So, let's change root 3 into x. That's like me saying 2x plus 3x. We know that 2x plus 3x can simplify to give us 5x, okay? Now, we don't know the value of root 3 unless we put it into a calculator. So, we can just pretend it's x. So, 2 root 3 plus 3 root 3, that's going to give me 5 root 3, okay? That only works if the third is the same, okay? So, if I had 2 root 3 plus 3 root 5, I won't be able to add them together because root 3, that's like me doing 2x plus 3y. I can't simplify that. It's not possible, okay? So as long as my third is the same, we can add the numbers in front of it, okay? Or we can subtract them. So let's go for an example. If I had a question that said root 80 plus root 20. Now, the biggest square number that goes into root 80 is 16. 80 divided by 16 is going to give me 5. The biggest square number that goes into 20 is 4. 20 divided by 4 is 5. Now, 16, root 16 can simplify to give me 4, and I'm left with 4 root 5. Root 4 can simplify to give me 2, and I'm left with 2 root 5. Now, if I wanted to add these together, I've got 4 root 5 and 2 root 5. Say root 5 is a banana. 4 bananas plus 2 bananas, that gives me 6. Okay, so I'm left with 6 root 5, and that's going to be my answer. Let's go for another example. Say I've got root 175 plus root 63 plus 2 root 28. Okay, how, how am I going to add these? Now, I need to simplify each and every one of these, okay? So I'm going to do see what's the biggest square number that goes into 175. It's 25, okay? 175 divided by 25 is going to give me 7. That is going to simplify to give me 5 root 7. Now 63, the biggest square number that goes into 63 is root 9. 63 divided by 9 is 7. That simplifies to give me 3 root 7. The biggest square number that goes into 28 is 4. 28 divided by 4 is 7. And I'm be, it's being multiplied by the 2. The root 4 simplifies to give me 2 root 7. And the 2 is being multiplied to it. So that equals to 4 root 7. So now I've got 5 root 7 plus 3 root 7 plus 4 root 7. And if I add them all together, that will give me 12 root 7. Okay, now that's how to add, sir. So now I'm going to give you two examples to have a go at yourself and pause at while you have a go. So root 200 plus root 18 subtract root 72. Have a go at this question here. Pause it while you can and then we're going to go through it. Okay, so you've paused the question and now you're back. Let's simplify this. The biggest square number that goes into root 200 is root 100. And 200 divided by 100 is 2. That simplifies to give me 10 root 2. The biggest square number that goes into root 18 is root 9. Root 18 divided by root 9 is root 2. 9 simplifies to give me 3 and I'm left with 3 root 2. Then root 72, the biggest square number that goes into root 72 is root 36. 72 divided by 36 is going to give me 2. Root 36 simplifies to give me 6, and I've now got 6 root 2. So we've got 10 plus 3 minus 6. The cells are all the same, so I can add and subtract the numbers in front of them. 10 plus 3 gives me 13. 13 take away 6 gives me 7, so my final answer is going to be 7 root 2. Another example, so let's pause and have a go at this one. 3 root 80 minus 2 root 20 plus 5 root 45. Okay, have a go. Okay, so you've paused the question, you've had a go, now let's go through it. The biggest square number that goes into root 80 is root 16 and root 5. Okay, and the 3 is being multiplied to them. Now root 16 simplifies to give me 4, so now I'm left with 3 multiplied by 4 root 5, which is going to give me 12 root 5. Now the biggest number that goes into root 20 is root 4, and divide that 20 by root 4 and you get root 5. The 2 is being multiplied to them. That simplifies to give me 2 multiplied by 2 multiplied by root 5, which simplifies to give me 4 root 5. Now, the biggest square number that goes into root 45 is root 9. 45 divided by 9 is 5. The 5 outside is being multiplied to them. 
Root 9 simplifies to give me 3, 5 multiplied by 3 multiplied by root 5 simplifies to give me 15 root 5. So now I've got 12 subtract 4 plus 15. Okay, 12, 12 subtract 4 plus 15 is going to simplify to give me 23 root 5 and that's going to be my final answer. Okay, last question for the adding thirds, we've got root 12 plus 3 root 48 plus root 75. If you haven't paused and had a go at the rest, please pause and have a go at this one. Okay, so we're going to simplify this to give me root 4 and root 3, which is going to simplify to give me 2 root 3. We're going to simplify this to give me root 16 and root 3 multiplied by the 3, which will simplify to 3 multiplied by 4 multiplied by root 3, which will simplify to give me 12 root 3, and I'm adding that. That will simplify to give me root 25 and root 3, which will simplify to give me 5 root 3. So now I've got 2 plus 12 plus 5, which will simplify to give me 19 root 3, and that's my answer. Thank you.